So we're going to go from the air back to the ground. Um, I'm Daniel Burrows, I'm CEO of Xtreme Trucking. Uh, a little bit about the trucking industry. We spend $100 billion a year on the, in the US on uh, diesel fuel for trucks. It's the, cheap, uh, it's the fleet's largest uh, cost after the driver. And at highway speeds, two thirds of this fuel is spent overcoming aerodynamic drag. So we go back to the 1940s. Um, truck, the tractor trailer setup was, was established. Um, and if we go on to today, we have the same setup. Uh, the nose is better, the, there's a better engine in there, the tail's there. But one thing that's still there from the 1940s is, um, is this gap between the cab and the trailer. And what we do is we close that gap. So aerodynamic scientists have known that this gap is a big driver of, uh, of, of a lack of fuel for a long time, but it's been really hard to close. And the reason why it's been hard to close is, the next slide, it's required to turn. But you only turn at low speeds. You don't turn at high speeds. And so that's really what is at the heart of our innovation. So I'm gonna show you a quick video of our product. Um, it's called the Gap Driller. Here it is, sitting between a cab and a trailer. Um, and then when you slow down, it folds away, retaining your full maneuverability. And when you speed up and go on a highway, it deploys out, directing the air over that gap. So that saves um, between two and a half and eight percent of fuel, depending on your uh, tractor trailer setup. And uh, we're starting uh, uh, bringing the products to market now. So phase one is this uh, is the gap trailer, and then um, close the tractor trailer gap. In order to do that, we have this smart hub. Next slide. Uh, and the smart hub is um, what controls our device. It detects the speed, takes all the data from the truck, and um, on that platform, we can then start to build all these other fuel efficiency devices as well. Um, we give away the gap driller for free um, and just charge a per mile service uh, model so they can, our, our customers can start saving money immediately. And um, if we look at the top uh, fleets in the US, um, there's about $300 million in potential ARR uh, just in 100 fleets. Um, we're fully, patent, fully patented, um, and the patent's been granted. Uh, the industry shows that the uh, fleets like to work with the industry leader rather than knockoffs. Um, so right now we are, uh, we've been uh, funded through uh, angels and grant money, and we're now um, more than, uh, we're pretty close to finishing up our seed round. Uh, it's basically put more and more of these devices on the road, do a, a couple of full fee rollouts, um, and ramp up our contract manufacturing. Uh, the team is me plus four engineers, uh, and we have lots of advisors with deep experience uh, from the industry, um, and we're trying to, uh... yeah, so um, any other questions? And I'd love to take questions. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. And I guarantee you when you drive home, you're gonna be looking at the truck trailer gap and go, that's 3%, that's $3 billion a year that, that we're wasting. Uh, we, 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 we could so are you selling to the uh, truck manufacturers or the fleet owners? So are you selling to FedEx or are you selling to we'll, 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 we'll start with FedEx and then uh, Volvo and Freightliner and other people are, are starting to talk to us. And do you continue to help them manage the system once it's put in or? So our, our, uh, with, with our technology comes a, a, a platform where you can see uh, the savings you have, and um, we provide parts and servicing as part of that. So it's, it's a savings as a service, like a, a residential solar model. I guess you charge for that as you go on? Or? It's just a per, per mile charge. <laughs> so that way our, our customers make money from day one. Yes, yeah, so I guess um, the question I'm trying to get to is, you continue to incur costs on your side as well, um, yes. even though they pay you subscription basis or one time? Yeah, so they continue to pay me every, every, for every mile, and we, um, our, our, our costs are servicing uh, the unit over which the five to seven years. Which tends to be a big part of costs, because they have to, yeah. Yeah, it, that, yeah that, that's the, yeah, that's exactly, that's our point. Um, the thing that got me excited about your product is just the, um, the acquisition of data from the actual vehicle itself, which is hard to do on some of these tractor, tractor trailer combinations. Um, what we've seen a lot in the IoT space is that there's a lot of competition over this data, and I think one of your headwinds is going to be um, you know, how much like a Walmart, as a, for instance, is going to let you work with their data. Um, have you started talking with any of them yet, or, and how do you foresee your, you guys fitting into that space? 
Yeah, I, well, I mean, I think we think of it as them using their data. So, you know, we are, we're going to be providing them their data through their a platform where they can look at it. We're not uh, taking it from them and doing something else with it. So we can tell them, you know, these are your best drivers. These uh, tires are underinflated. Uh, these gas boilers aren't deploying. Uh, these uh, trailer tails are not deploying. Uh, you know, so I think it's more, I think we think of it as not um, taking their data and us using it and selling it on the market. Where the data is their data, and we'll just be giving it back to them in a way they can use. Cool. That's a good answer, and I think that would fully make sense to them. Um, so then, my follow-on question is: um, <clears throat> Can you integrate with the existing uh, controllers that, that they're using in their in their larger fleets today? Think about that. Um, quite possibly. I, I think that we we think our, we want our platform to be proprietary, so we can build all these things on it, and also we need to move fast. So you know, we built the. Uh, the telematic system over the last month, and now it's operating. And I don't think we could build an integration like that in, in, in you know, with with with, a, with another provider that quickly. So for speed, we do it ourselves. And I think there was a this was part of the slide, but I missed it. Um, can you talk a little bit though about the safety testing and approval process? And imagine that that's going to be extensive. <laughs> yeah, it, it's obviously it, 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 it's it's quarter. Cool. I'm out of time, but. It's core to what we do. We have product liability insurance. We are, yeah, yeah it, it, there's a long answer there. I'm afraid I can't give it. We'll, okay. we'll, 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 we'll take that offline. Thank you very much.